uh, the question is how you know how effective is it as a placebo and and how long does it last and you know even though you know it's placebo can you keep using it I know there's an ethic question about That's about if you try something then it doesn't okay. work but is it effective enough to use on some chronic pain all placebos would be all, but I, I emphasize again and I want to spend a little time discussing this because it's a very sensitive subject um, number one placebos work and there's been some studies at UC, in fact, w a really interesting series of studies where you take out either one molar, two molars, three molars, or four molars at the same time. All right? Why anybody would have four at the same time is beyond me, but they did this experiment, and then they compared opiates, a narcotic, morphine, say, to placebo. And the more molars you had out, the more likely the placebo was going to be effective. All right? So it's just the opposite of what some people might predict that, oh, well, you know, you're a croc. There's no pain, that's why the placebo works. Every element, I teach the medical students, if, if, if I am going to, you're, you're my patient, and, and I say, look, I have this new, I, this new drug that I've been working with. It's really, I'm really excited about it. I know we've been having trouble helping you. I think this is going to be fantastic. I'm really, I want you to try it for the next two weeks. All right, that's one approach. Same drug. Now, you know, John, uh, we're, I really don't, I'm at my wit's end. You know, I've got this stuff, to be honest, I really don't think it's going to do a damn bit of good. But what the hell, right? We can't, nothing's working, so why don't you take this home for a couple of weeks and see what happens. All right, same drug, but there's something called the nocebo. By the kind of instructions you give, you can actually make the thing work worse than if you told them nothing. So the brain is involved. In acupuncture, why do I say that I believe that acupuncture is a, a placebo? It's not just my gut that's saying that. It's based on lots of studies. Number one, it, for pain, and I'm talking about for pain, it doesn't work in children. All right? Uh, children are lousy placebo. They'll respond to mommy who, who might hug them, but they're not, you know, the white coat comes along with the needle, that's bad news. The do you think there's something good in the needle. The kid doesn't think so, right? <laughs> And it turns out, and this has been studied over and over, it absolutely doesn't make a difference where you put the needles. So the meridian notion, I know all about it, I've studied it, I've read it. It doesn't matter where you put the needles. If it's going to work, it'll work regardless. Now, are there studies out there, proper studies, blind, placebo-controlled, that say that acupuncture works? Absolutely. And we've published them in pain. But if you do the meta-analysis, now you look over the entire field of studies that have been done it's no better than placebo. Yes, you can always get one study because you had a sample and that group had, 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 it was better than placebo. So my feeling is the data says that it's not any better and it will eventually stop working as do most placebos. And of course it depends on the magnitude of the pain, the individual, their training, how much they believe in acupuncture. And that's no different from lots of other uh, therapies. All right, should you go use it? Sure, why not, it's cheap. Uh, but if you think it's a placebo, it's probably going to work not as well. It's better if you think it. All right, so don't, don't, don't forget everything I told you. 